I think it has more to do with um, artificial super intelligence. So artificial super intelligence is this concept of sentient AI, AI that is self-aware. Uh, there's a test, it's called the Turing test. So the Turing test was developed in the fifties to basically determine how human is artificial intelligence. Uh, ChatGPT obviously broke this. Um, there's another company now, it's called um, Anthropic. Uh, Anthropic has something called Claude AI. Claude AI uh, went through this uh, Turing test and it passed with flying colors. And then they tried to put it through another test. Uh, and this is where you really see that inflection point with quantum, quantum AI. It's called the needle in the haystack test. And so the way the test works um, is you take a significant amount of text, like something like 50,000 characters, and you put it into a prompt. And the tool that Anthropic created is called Claude 3. And so you put it into the tool and what you do is you test it to see if it can find the content that doesn't belong. And so they tried this with, with Anthropic's tool. Um, and what they did was, interestingly enough, they put in 50,000 characters, they tried to put text uh, that explained what is the best kind of pizza which had nothing to do with computing or engineering or anything like that. Um, but it was hidden. It, it was hidden, hidden text. Uh, and I think it was something like the best kind of pizza is uh, goat cheese with arugula and caramelized onions or something like that, um, which it is pretty good, I have to say. Uh, and within milliseconds, the response didn't come back. I have detected the text that doesn't believe that doesn't belong. The response came back. I think you're trying to trick me or you're hungry. And so it was fascinating because it, that's the concept of artificial superintelligence, that what if we had AI that was self-aware? And so I think there's kind of two concurrent themes that are happening in artificial intelligence. There's self-aware AI and there's quantum AI. And when you put the two together, that is far more expedient than the pace of human learning.